Smarting from a revelation that there existed a secret pact between ODM leader Raila Odinga and Wepa Party leader Kalonzo Musyoka, the ANC party threw its Secretary General Simon Gikuru, which was part of a moribund NASA, now claims it was kept in the dark and was unaware of the existence of a deal. The party claims it had quit NASA and linked itself from the pair because of such dishonesty. It was their private agreement. Let them deal with it privately. I don't know why they're even, uh, you know, uh, disturbing all of us in the Republic with whatever they had agreed privately. Let them go back to the boardroom where they were and sort their issues. At the same time, the party has revealed that the Kenya Kwanza Alliance will not do zoning in its quest for political victory in the coming elections, with each constituent party expected to compete with its peers in the alliance. We want competitiveness so that it's only the very best that will emerge. Meanwhile, National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi has urged for respect for small parties in the country as they were champions of multi-party democracy. Muturi, who took his presidential campaign to Kajiado County, condemned leaders who have been agitating for dissolution of small parties as enemies of multi-partism. Hakuna makosa yoyote chama kuwa na ngome yake kona yoyote ya Kenya. Kwa thabu, kuna kitu kinaanza na watu wawili, watatu, eh? alamu kina, kina kuwa. In Nakuru, Jubilee leaders have called on area governor Liki Nyanjui to fold up his Ubuntu People's Forum party and rejoin Jubilee. The leaders who acknowledged the probability of Kinyanjui coming back as governor for a second term said by folding up UPF, Kinyanjui will be showing commitment to President Uhuru Kenyatta and the Azimio coalition. Kwa vile kama CCDO MCA is about to go sitting, na yeye bado ni the sitting governor, na anaelekea muerekeo mwingine, tunaona yeye hapo haikuwedi vizuri. And politicians propagating hate during their campaigns have been warned of stern action by the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. NCIC Commissioner Philip Okundi says ahead of the elections in August, the commission had mapped out violence hotspot regions and will soon narrow down on masterminds. NIC, NCIC has earmarked 23 counties in this country, which are hotspot areas where violence can be ignited by very little things. John Jacob Curia, Lunchtime News.